The short-faced or bulldog bear is an extinct Ice Age predator that was endemic to North America during the Pleistocene era, about 1.8 million to 11,000 years ago. During their time, they may have been one of the largest meat-eating animals on land. They first appeared in the fossil record during the middle of the Pleistocene epoch in North America, about 800,000 years ago. They even lived alongside early humans for a short period of time. In this video we count down 10 facts about the short-faced bear. The giant short-faced bear has been subdivided into two subspecies, Arctodus pristinus and Arctodus simus. This is based on extreme differences in body size. Arctodus simus is the largest and is called the giant short-faced bear. While Arctodus pristinus stood 8 to 10 feet tall, Arctodus simus stood 11 to 12 feet tall. It is one of the biggest mammalian predators ever to have roamed the earth. There are several theories on how the giant short-faced bear hunted. These bears could run very fast which might have enabled them to run down even fast prey such as horses. However some experts believe its large size and inability to make sharp turns would have meant it would not be able to chase down most prey. These experts suggest it may have waited for other predators like the dire wolf and American lion to make a kill and then moved in scaring the other predators away and stealing their kills. Why did the giant short-faced bear become extinct? The answer is not known for certain, but two main reasons are believed to have contributed to its extinction. The first is that their extinction correlated with the mass extinction of many species which they depended on as a food source. At the end of the last ice age there was what has been called a megafauna extinction brought about by climate changes. The second reason that may have contributed to this animal's demise was the fact that humans were increasingly populating their habitats, and as the humans' hunting skills increased they were able to dominate the bears in the competition for limited food supplies. Based on the distribution of the species during the late Pleistocene, the giant short-faced bear occupied a range of habitats with diverse climatic conditions, including open plains, steppe tundra, boreal forests, open grasslands and subtropical woodlands. Over the years, the short-faced bear has usually been described as a super predator, or scavenger, and occasionally as an omnivore. Isotopic studies on fossil remains from Beringia indicate that individuals from Alaska and the Yukon consumed a very high proportion of meat, although similar studies have yet to be published from the southern part of its range. In fact, one recent study has suggested that, while meat was undoubtedly a large part of their diet, the giant short-faced bear was probably a generalized omnivore, similar to modern North American brown bears, and would have eaten a variety of foods, depending on what was available. A study that analyzed the mandibular geometry of numerous living and extinct members of the carnivora family found that the structure of the short-faced bear's mandible most closely matches that of the herbivorous spectacled bear, suggesting that this very large bear may, in fact, have been more herbivorous than previously suspected. Analysis of a new suite of radiocarbon dates obtained on short-faced bear bones confirms that these animals went extinct roughly 11,000 years ago and most likely coexisted with groups of humans from the Clovis culture. Reasons for the species' extinction are unclear, but it is generally accepted that the extinction of larger prey species and increased competition from other species, such as brown bears or even humans, played a role in the disappearance of the short-faced bear during the Pleistocene to Holocene transition. Arctodus simus was widely distributed across the US and Canada during the last ice age. Recently, remains of a giant short-faced bear have been recovered from a site in the Appalachian Highlands of western Virginia, and remains of three individuals have been recovered from two different sites in central Florida. The study has greatly extended the known range of this animal during the last ice age and disproved the long-held assumption that the giant short-faced bear had not ventured into the southeastern U.S. during the ice ages. Given their huge size and taste for meat, the short-faced bear has a surprising evolutionary history. 
Their closest living relative is the spectacled bear, which lives among the trees in the mountainous regions of western and northern South America. Spectacled bears have short, broad faces, like the ice-aged short-faced bear, but are nearly entirely herbivorous, preferring leaves, fruit and other vegetation, unlike the short-faced bear which we know to have eaten lots of meat. The short-faced bear belongs to a group of bears known as the Tremarctony, which appeared in North America during the earliest parts of the late Miocene epoch, evolving from a genus of bears known as Plyonarctos, which is a genus considered ancestral to Arctodus. During the Great American Interchange that followed the joining of North and South America, Tremarctony moved to South America, leading to the evolution of the genus Arctotherium and the modern spectacled bear. Although the early history of Arctodus is poorly known, it evidently became widespread in North America by the Kansan age about 800,000 years ago. The short-faced bear would have moved in a pacing motion similar to a camel, horse, and modern bears, making it built more for endurance than for great speed. Arctimus simus, according to some arguments, was ill-equipped to be an active predator, leading some to conclude that it was a kleptoparasite, using its enormous size to intimidate smaller predators, such as dire wolves, saber-toothed cats, and American lions, or chase them from their kills and steal their food. This idea was challenged in a 2013 study of the microware of the teeth of various extant and extinct bears. The researchers concluded that the short-faced bear was not a pure scavenger, and in fact, was even less of a scavenger than the modern polar bear. A 2010 study concluded that the species was neither a super predator nor pure scavenger, but an opportunistic omnivore like modern brown bears, also similar to prehistoric theropods. Recently, some authors also suggest that the giant short-faced bear were omnivores, like most modern bears, and that they may have eaten plants depending on availability.